said, come on. And I also want to ask Superintendent, Superintendent Huckathal to make an apology to us. Last week, a couple weeks ago, whatever it was, you likened our children to Hitler Youth Games, mass murders. You likened, you compared our children to people who outright murdered people, and you say our children are like them, Hitler Youth Games? Call it. I think that calls for an abject, sincere apology. And it is more so when one knows, as we do, that just two weeks ago, sir, you were at a rally for Russell Pierce, who not only, not only supervised the draconian cuts in education, one of the major enemies of education that this state has ever seen, yet you you applaud, you support him, you want him to continue doing the harm to education. And secondly, Russell Pierce is a known consorter of neo Nazis like J.T. Redding. So even as you condemn our kids and call them Hitler Youth Gangs, you support a person who openly consorts with neo Nazis here. So that is, a, that is something. The, the comment was made about Senator Pierce. Senator Pierce, perhaps is not a perfect leader, but he's my friend. And I've stood side by side while he's been vilified to the end of the earth. And he is the most gracious person, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And he has had his picture taken with Democrats. He's had his pictures taken with known homosexuals. And he's been absolutely gracious. And nobody has accused him of being a Democrat or a homosexual. But when somebody comes up, who has engaged in past inappropriate behavior, he gets accused of being associated with them. I'm drawing the focus out of what people really believe, but are too afraid to say. Mr. Pierce, can I ask you if J.T. Reddy is your friend? J.T. Reddy showed up at a rally with me and J.D. Hayworth in the New Times. The great fiction it is went around to try to find a picture they could use. If you had to do it all over again, would you take another picture with the guy? I didn't take it. Did you take a picture with him? It's an old story in his fiction. They made it up. It's Mr. Ben. Do you, do you know his history? No. And one of the things that I appreciate about JT is the fact that I think he's committed as a true patriot to the real purpose and the limited purpose of government, kind of like the Republican platform that we have. The ordination with particularly from him that would be someone who's like your father or your actual father uh, in the LDS uh, church. JT, join us. Nice to have you, sir. You want to do some reform? Then let's see the National Guard of Arizona on the Arizona national border. All the politicians want to act like this is a, and I say politicians because great people like Russell Pierce are statesmen. Yeah, he came up to me afterwards and said, you know, that that was the best speech he'd heard, and and you know, it must have taken weeks to prepare. You know, I think JT, um, a true patriot, that would work hard to make sure the government does not overcommit its ability or, or spend money that it doesn't have. Did Russell Pierce ever have a conversation with you, like, hey, JT, you need to cool it, or you know, anything like that? Because no. you know, you're more. Uh, out there in the sense that when he's never said anything to you? No, no, uh, Luann, his wife, uh, had uh, made some comments like that. Because... Sir, can you um, explain your Hitler Youth statement about the MAS? Hi, David. How are you doing? doing? Good. That's good. How... <laughs> so, I, well, two quick questions. Um, which one of these teachers, about more than half the teachers are here, are promoting the overthrow of the U.S. government? And explain your Hitler Youth statement. Please. David, it's great to see you. I've, I've, it's been a while.